Welcome to the Order of Operations Practice Problem Guide. Problem 1. A car comes to a stop from an initial velocity of 23 meters per second with an acceleration of negative 0.3 meters per second squared. How long will it take for the car to come to a stop? We've listed all our given information, including what we're solving for and what's not included. Here's the equation you were given. Here's the equation with everything substituted in. Evaluate. 0 minus 23 equals negative 23. I always simplify the top, simplify the bottom, and then divide to get 76.67. I finalize my answer by throwing a unit on there and checking my work. Time is measured in seconds. Question 2. A skydiver falls towards the ground with an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared from an initial velocity of 12.5 meters per second. If they fall for 32 seconds, how far did they travel? We have our givens, including what we're solving for and what's not included. There's our equation. It's already substituted in, so you just need to evaluate how far. Solve for x. I'm going to go through. I'm going to take care of those exponents. Then I'm going to take care of all my multiplication from left to right. Notice I'm doing one operation at a time. I'm going to do 12.5 times 32 before I finish with addition. Addition, subtraction always come last in order of operations. Final your, finalize your answer by throwing a unit on there and checking your work. Question three, a train speeds up from 25 meters per second to 43.5 meters per second over a distance of 185 meters. What is the train's rate of acceleration? I have what I'm solving for, what's not included, and all of my given information. Here's my formula. You need to substitute in and then evaluate for the acceleration. To substitute in, I replace each of my variables with a set of parentheses. V is 43.5, so I plug it in there. V sub 0 is 25, so I plug it in there. X is 185, so I plug it in there. Just like before, I simplify the top, simplify the bottom, and then divide. So I'm going to take care of those exponents, those exponents, and I'm going to subtract. Now I'm going to take care of my denominator. The numerator and denominator almost work like parentheses. You need to do each of them first before you divide them. Finalize your answer with a unit. Acceleration is in meters per second squared. Question four, a bullet is fired with an initial velocity of 350 meters per second with an acceleration of negative 0.03 meters per second squared due to air resistance. If the bullet travels 553 meters, what is its final velocity? Here's the equation, substitute in and solve for velocity. Since my given information is listed, it's very easy to substitute it in. Replace each variable with a set of parentheses and then put the value in there. I'm going to take care of my exponents. I'm going to take care of my multiplication from left to right. Notice I'm doing one operation at a time. I'm going to take care of my addition. And the very last thing, because it works like a big grouping symbol, I need to take care of that square root at the final step. My velocity is 349.95 meters per second. Number five, a space station is moving at an initial velocity of 8,500 meters per second. In order to stay in orbit, it needs to accelerate at a rate of 2.3 meters per second squared by firing its burners for 12 seconds. How fast is the space station moving after it speeds up? So I'm looking for velocity. There's my equation. Substitute in. I'm going to substitute all my given values into parentheses. I'm going to multiply first 20 or 2.3 times 12. Then I'm going to add that to 8,500. And I always finalize by checking my work and throwing a unit on there. Velocity is measured in meters per second. Number six, train car one has a momentum of 1,200 kilogram meters per second. And it couples to train car two that has a momentum of negative 150 kilogram meters per second. What is their total momentum? There's the equation, substitute in and evaluate. I'm going to plug in 1200 for train car 1, negative 150 for the momentum of train car 2. Put them together, total momentum is 1050 kilogram meters per second. Always finalize by checking your work and throwing a unit on your answer. A car experiences an applied force of 95 newtons and a friction force of 37 newtons. What is the net force acting on the car? Here's your formula, substitute in and evaluate. The applied force is 95, the frictional force is 37, 95 minus 37 gives me 58, force is a measurement of newtons.